Well, I'm back in this crazy house. So the plan today, I've got to transfer the weight from these on the joist since they allowed me to get a new seal plate in. I'm going to transfer the weight of this wall and ceiling and roof down. Transfer it down to the new seal plate. That gives me room to put a 4x8 sheet of plywood in here. And the plan is eventually going to be to build a temporary wall. Oh, right in here somewhere. Far out as I can get it. To hold this roof up, a little ceiling up, so that I can climb up there and have something solid to brace the roof up while I start to cut the roof out. So it's a slow process, but I figured this would be a cool one to make videos on because, well, I gotta kinda wing it as I go. There's no right or wrong way to do this as long as you don't fall down on top of you. So that's where we're starting. I've got a few more boards to go in and brace things up. And then I'll be painting these white wood joists. A lot of people don't really do that, but it works better than treated in my opinion. You, I'll have to clean these up because it was muddy, but you come back with some mold resistant paint and uh, get them sealed in real nice. And they'll last a lot longer, especially this close to the floor. It's an old building. Just a little tip from me. I like doing that. It's a peace of mind thing. And this, these, this wood's gonna get wet several times before we ever get a roof over it it's not like a normal construction job where in two weeks it'll be done so that's the plan for today well there's been a change of plans so oh this is pretty sketchy up here let me turn you around this is what we're looking at up here some of the worst rots that guy. It's about ready to go. And then this one's got a big old hole in it. Ceiling's starting to come down. So I climbed up here because I've got these joists braced up that I'm standing on. And I've got a beam under me too. And I've got a wall right next to me and a wall that goes behind me. And then this wall that's holding everything up above my head. So I feel good where I'm at. And I braced all these down at the bottom. So now we've got some structure, and uh, as you can see, I poked around over here and got a bunch of just dead weight out of the way. There's our giant hole into the neighbor's yard. What it's looking like to me at this point is that, let me get a pointer board here. This two by six right here, it's hanging way down. That's not the camera making it look funny. It's holding up about four of these rafters at this point because there's no wall. So, my plan is I just called the guy that owns this place and instead of painting and putting material that's probably gonna get ruined in here, I think I'm gonna try to pull this roof down. I can tie a rope around that two by six and then I'll put a hole in this wall here. And that goes over here to the stairwell where I've got decent framing over the top of me. There's a little bit of rot, but nothing's falling and there's still walls over here. Walls are important. All this keeps stuff off my head. Um, I think I could get a rope to that and pull this roof down from across the building um, I won't have the best exit strategy if the whole thing starts to go over, but it really shouldn't with as much because this is all, this isn't like put together bad. This is all steel and it's holding up quite a bit. So I would be fairly safe on this half and it would get a lot of weight off of the area I'm working. I wouldn't have so much shit over my head. So that's the update. I think that's it for part two of this sketchy house uh hopefully within the next couple weeks we can get it less sketchy i've got it braced up where it'll handle the rain as well as it can i can't fix what's already broke but 
Hopefully he'll let me pull this roof down. I think I've got a good plan for it. And that, that'll get us moving along. That's all I got for today. Um, this one got cut short, so I'm gonna get out of this dangerous motherfucker and go home later.